I rise today to talk about a national problem that has continued for years, and that's the rise in student loan debt. Over 40 million borrowers hold outstanding student loan balances that exceed $1.7 trillion. The average borrower holds about $39,000 in student debt. This is unacceptable. But instead of talking about pie-in-the-sky policies like debt forgiveness that come from maybe from the other side of this capital or chamber that we call the U.S. Senate, um, these proposals, they're not just pie in the sky, they're BS. They're not going to happen. But it's time that members of this body talk about the solutions that all of us here help implement. We actually addressed the student debt issue. And it's through legislation I led with my colleague, Congressman Scott Peters of California, that was signed into law by President Trump last year and would allow employers to make tax-free student loan payments of up to $5,250 per year to each employee who holds an eligible student loan, lowering payroll taxes both for employers and the employees. This public-private partnership model makes student loan payments eligible for employer-sponsored educational assistance programs, just like tuition assistance has been for years. In fact, my good friends at Chegg, you know, I've got four public universities in my district, four private universities in my district, and a handful of community college districts, and every one of those students, like my three kids that are in college right now in grad school, they know what Chegg is, because that's where they're getting their books. It's a cost-effective private sector approach to lower the costs of textbooks for kids nationwide. Well, the people at Chegg, they know how important student debt is because they've actually forgiven, uh, paid back over a million dollars in student debt for their employees. They've actually take advantage, taken advantage of this program that we all passed in a bipartisan way to address this $1.7 trillion problem. You know, every employer out there, do what Chegg's done. Take advantage of the tax provisions that are in place and were put in place by Republicans and Democrats and signed into law by President Trump. Let's make sure that you use this as an effective recruitment tool and a retention tool in this economy. So, Mr. Speaker, I, I'm asking my colleagues to help get the word out to our employers across this great country. Use what is already available to you and to your employees who have student debt. Use this student loan debt benefit to help recruit more workers. Use it to retain more talent. Use it to give your employees financial freedom and make a real difference in their lives by reducing their student debt and by reducing the $1.7 trillion in debt that we have in this country, which outnumbers all auto and credit card debt combined. Help your employees help America. Let's get this economy back on track. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back.